let us see the problem on design of pile foundation let me read the question quickly the foundation for a structure comprising six piles of square cross section have to support a surface load of 3600 kN the piles are driven through a hard stratum and bear on a hard rock design the reinforcement in the pile assuming the pile to be 6 meter long and using m20 grade concrete and fe415 steel hysd bars sketch the details of reinforcement in the pile so in the solution i have written the given data from the entire this question we have the data as number of piles 6 total service load is 3600 kN it has to be shared by 6 piles so service load on each pile shall be 600 kN length of the pile as given in the problem is 6 meter FY is 415 Newton per mm square, FCK is 20 Newton per mm square. These two are based on the grade of steel and concrete. So let us see the first step. It is This is about longitudinal reinforcement. This is a formula for maximum load, ultimate load. So using this formula, we can find out the ASC here because we have all the parameters except ASC. ASC is nothing but the area of steel in compression. So pile is a compression member, right? So we have to call the reinforcement here as compression reinforcement so we have to find out the area of steel in compression so see here for all the parameters i have written what they what we have fck is 20 newton per mm square edge is the gross cross sectional area of the pile here in the question they have given only this is the square pile but we are assuming it as 300 mm by 300 mm square pile because we have from the guidelines in the remarks i have written see here we uh, for actually the loads in the range for 400 to 600 kilo newton 300 mm square piles are sufficient so we are taking 300 by 300 mm as the dimensions so gross cross sectional area is 300 into 300 so we will get this value fy is the grade of steel we have pu is the ultimate load we have the service load as 600 and we have to multiply with the factor of safety so that we will get 900 kilo newton so all these values should be submitted uh, substituted in this formula so what will we get if we solve for ASC we will get 666 mm square but this is not enough we have the minimum long we have the guidelines in the remarks I have mentioned here minimum reinforcement for longitudinal strain is steel is 1.25 percent if the length of the pile is less than 30 times the lateral dimension it should be 1.5 percent for length between 30 times lateral dimensions to 40 times the lateral dimension it will be 2% for length greater than 40 times the lateral dimension. So this is if you observe the length and depth here, uh, length and uh, uh, breadth here. So this is the first one, first case. So we have to consider the minimum longitudinal reinforcement as 1.25% of the cross-sectional area. That is how much you got. Cross-sectional area is nothing but cross-sectional area of the pile. That is 300 into 300. So after this solving this, we got 1125 mm square. This is less uh, greater than this. So if we get the ASC more than this, that's okay. But if it is less, we have to provide the minimum reinforcement. So we have to provide four bars at the corners. So it's okay. The square pile we are providing four bars at the corners. That's okay. But here on the number of bars, if you uh, use this formula, number of bars is equal to capital ASC by small ASC you will get the diameter here number of bars are 4 as we have taken here 1125 is the ASC we got and pi by 4 d square is a cross sectional area of the steel bar so one unknown thing here is d you can find it so approximately value is 20 mm so we have to provide 4 bars of 20 mm diameter with clear cover 50 mm and I have mentioned here clear cover for pile foundation should not be less than 50 mm step two lateral reinforcement here central portion of the pile we have to mention if you see in the remarks you see the right side of the page i have mentioned here these are the guidelines we have so this is this is from sp34 sp34 so we have this uh, these guidelines equals 0.6 percent of the volume of this part up to three times the lateral dimension so here i have mentioned 3d transition that means if we can mention the same here otherwise we have to otherwise we can uh, join with the central portion this is according to the loads and according to the conditions we have to take so at least we have to provide for 3d it is a 0. Point, uh, 3d length it is 
0.6% of the volume of this part the bottom also the same for central portion it is 0.2% of the volume of the pile that we have we are considering here that is volume of reinforcement is equal to 0.2% of the volume of the pile see here here assuming the diameter of tie as 8 mm this is the minimum so volume of one tie is actually the area into length area is here pi by 4 d square into perimeter perimeter length because the tie is in this way right so we have to find out the perimeter that is 4 times 300 minus 50 minus 50 50 we have taken out the clear cover so it is 4 times the 200 so we will get this so this is wrong please don't consider this this is 4 times 200 not 400 so this does not affect this one so so this is right this is right actually 40,000 mm cube so even this is wrong the final answer is right the final answer is right please check the volume of one tie is one tie so this is a pi by 4 d square into perimeter as I have said here so if you substitute that you will get this answer volume of pile per pitch length here I have draw, tried to draw this in isometric view see here pitch is actually the spacing between central to center to center distance between the tie uh, tie to tie two ties so here if you observe so length we are calculating the volume of pile per pitch length only this part we are considering this part we are considering so that will be cross area multiplied by the length here area is 300 by 300 and the length is p volume of reinforcement is 0.2 percent of the volume of pile so we are equating so we are not taking entire volume of the pile and entire volume of reinforcement here we are considering the reinforcement uh, re uh, reinforcement per one bar one tie and we are considering the volume of pile per up to one pitch only so we can get the value of p here 0.2 percent of the volume of pile if you observe this you can get it clearly the so maximum permissible pitch according to the guidelines we have is d by 2 that is lateral dimension by 2 that is 300 by 2 that is 150 mm what we got here 222 mm this is more than the permissible value so we have to consider the maximum permissible value 150 mm let us provide 8 mm diameter ties at 150 mm center to center this is the lateral reinforcement near pile this is the next step next step step number 3 so here again we have to consider for unit volume of tie is equal to 0.6 percent of the gross volume for the length of three times the lateral dimension these are the guidelines we have from the figure if you want you can observe here this we are saying so three times the diameter means this is three into 300 three 900 mm so we are using 8 mm diameter again we consider this this is 800 actually this is 800 you will get this value this value is right if you so if you put 800 here you will get this value please excuse me for this mistake and this is a volume of pile up to the length 3d that is 900 up to 900 mm this is this much so this is just for observation so volume of pile per pitch length we have to consider this originally so we know that we have seen in uh, previous one volume of tie is this much so again we have got the pitch value here 0.2 percent we got that value and here 0.6 percent we got 74 mm so we have to provide 8 mm diameter ties at 70 mm center to center at distance 900 mm from the end of the pile both top and bottom here here we have to put here 3d top 3d and bottom 3d so let us go top now so okay that's over next step is about spiral reinforcement near the pile head so let us continue in the second part